So I wanted you guys to check this out. Before we start the next video, one, I just want to say welcome back to Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Uh, just kind of based off on how well the first two videos have done, I'm just going to upload these as fast as I can. Uh, so thank you guys for that. If you want more today, just keep doing what you're doing. And I wanted to show you some stuff. So right now, the way we got the progression log, we're about to start uh, sequence three and everything here in a little bit. And then we got... The inventory, I just thought this was like really neat. The last few games didn't really, I don't really feel like they went too far in depth with everything. Look at this. Different outfits. I'm sure there's kind of like downloadable content you can get. Now one thing I did, oh that's so sick. That's the original. Outdoorsman. So a lot of the stuff you can unlock, um, I didn't realize this. I'm going to upgrade my characters here and there. Assassin gauntlets, you have... So many different types of things. You got the weapons. What was it? Brass knuckles? Ooh. So you can change them up a little bit. That looks super dangerous. Uh, skill tree. I've already... I went ahead and increased the health boost a little bit. Um, I don't think I have... I guess we'll go ahead and just go down the list. Unstoppable. I guess I'll go... I'm just going to go through and grab all these while I still can. Before we start the next area. But you're about to see a cutscene, and I guess when that is over, I'll be able to continue, so enjoy, guys. What was that explosion? What explosion? EV. Piece of Eden detonated and took the lab with it. The magic lump of hyperbolic metal. I'm shocked. Simply because you have never valued the pieces does not All mean... went according to plan, hmm? <clears throat> There was a slight complication. How slight? The lab exploded. Jacob. You derailed a train. Oh, he did. Did he? Well, the train derailed and I happened to be on it. I killed my target. Brewster is also no more. Then all in all a successful mission in spite of you two. What about London? What about it? We're wasting our time out here. You know as well as I do that London has been the domain of the Templars for the last hundred years. They are far too strong yet. Patience. The Templars have found a new piece of Eden. Sir David is dead. They do not know how to use it. The Council shall guide us. Sound advice that your father would have seconded. I shall see you back in Crawley. Patience, Evie. Ah. Oh. The gentle sound of opportunity passing us by. So what's stopping us? London is waiting to be liberated. Forget Crawley. Father would have wanted us to listen. Oh, Father. You could continue his legacy in London. Freeing future generations from a city ruled by Templars. You know, Jake Fry. You might just be right. Then shall we? Yes. Let's. Onward to London. Check in on Sean and Rebecca. I still think attacking a Templar is a mistake. Call Dr. Grammatica. <sighs> Come on. Who is a pal? What a lovely surprise. Our mutual friends will be here shortly to search for the artifact. Once it's located, I'll let you know. Super. Always a pleasure. Prick. It's people like you that give historians a bad name. I'm afraid I don't have time for you today, Mr. Hastings. Thank you for making my job easy. Oh, shit. It does look grim. 
Masterberg, Agent Acosta. Deal with them, please. Move it! Hunt them down! All they had to do was wait for you to search the data. Their little stunt has put the whole operation at risk. You need to synchronize Jacob and Evie's memories. Find something that puts us ahead of the enemy. Time is of the essence, and lives are now clearly on the line. Good luck. I've never seen so many people all at once. Churning seas of London. It's just the way Father described. Now, to find Henry Green and formulate a plan of attack against the Templars. Who's Mr. Green again? The assassin watching over London. Did you not listen the first three times? Listen to what? <laughs> Oi, watch it. Ben Pardon, sir. Oi! Come back here, you filthy Jacob, dipper! Stop. Jacob, stop! Alright, so we're just chasing this guy. Sorry for the weird transition. I restarted the checkpoint because this mission started and I didn't have my controller because I was watching the cutscene. Alright, here we go. Reduce the distance to getting to the target. I don't know about that. Oh, I should not be climbing. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the chasing is... I like how they did this. It just feels a lot more like an Assassin's Creed game than the last few. Oh, look at this little kid. So bash is about to get jumps. Keep it. Well, well. Kill the thugs. What? what do we have here? You're on our property. Oh, oh you want some? Fish. No. I just like threw the knife right at that guy's face as he was there. Yeah, he's actually like staggering too. The finishing move. Let's go, boys. Punched him right in the top of his skull. What else does London have to offer? Now is not the time for tourism, Jacob. Now's the time to find Henry Green. I've always been the quicker climber, haven't I? Not since we were two. Race to the highest vantage point. Arrive before her. Oh, yeah, right. I'm not faster than her, so I'm just going to have to run past her. I need to go where she goes, though. All right, we got to get up there. Oh, we got to go. I'm hoping this is where you can go up. Free run up. All right, there we go. Where is Mr. Green's shop located? It was marked on Father's map. Two assassins. Equal in height. One female, one male. Two decades old, and those devilish smiles. You must be the Fry Twins. And you are? Henry Green, at your service. I was sorry to learn about your father's passing. Thank you. What can you tell us about Crawford Starrick? I suppose the Council desires news. London must be freed, to provide a better future for all of its citizens. Well, thank goodness the Council saw reason and sent you to aid us. Yes. Thank goodness. Unfortunately, I am the bearer of bad news. Today, Starik sits at the helm of the most sophisticated Templar infrastructure known in the Western world. Every class, every borough, the gangs, the industries. His reach extends all across London. I've always thought of myself as a gang leader. Firm, but fair. Huh. We'll have uniforms, and I'll unite a mix of disenfranchised outsiders under one name. That's it, Evie. We can rally them to our side. Oh, like the way that you rallied those car players at the Oakbrook Tavern into the river. Oh, that was different. They beat me at whist. I can see it now. We'll call ourselves the Rooks. You were never good at chess either. Have you got a better plan? Find the piece of Eden. Oh, well, let me show you the lay of the land. Shall we? Synchronize with the vantage point. This is the highest point in Whitechapel. Uh, 
I like how this one's more about getting, I guess, back at all the corruption within, like, the work environments for, like, the... It's like you're kind of supporting, like, the middle class and everything in this game. It's... I think not necessarily they've all really been like that, but I think this one more puts that focus on there. Which I think adds for a really interesting story. Oh, we're really high up. Oh, wow. Look at what Starak has done to the city. Whitechapel is riddled with crime. Child labor, despite regulations. A gang known as the Blighters overruns the streets. And Templars manipulating behind the scenes. As in all the other boroughs, we need to return this city to the people who built it in the first place. We will free London from Starrick. You have my word. I my looks. Miss Fry, your passion is inspiring. Come. Let us return to my shop and I can bring you up to date on the rest. He's just free falling. Oh yeah, that's totally how it's gonna work. It's gonna break neck, how about that? Oh I gotta see her jump. She dies. Game over. Oh my goodness. Keep quiet. Kaylock's looking for me. Who's Kaylock? One of Starrick's gang leaders. Why does he want you? He's after some of my more arcane research into one of the precursor artifacts. The piece of Eden. So tell me about these blighters. In search of an army, Starrick gathered up the nastiest of the underworld. Some of the city's gangs tried to prevent it and were slaughtered for their efforts. Now, only Whitechapel's clinkers remain opposed, but they're no match for the blighters. Well, let's shine these clinkers up then, shall we? They're just the sort we're looking for. You can't be serious. Evie, they're ready to fight and oppose the blighters. This is my chance to step in. Look out, London. Here come the rooks. I think this is just so well done. I don't know about you guys, but I just think this is such a... It's such a good game so far. I don't know. I can't get over it. I just did not expect them to bounce back from anything. Confound this city. No one looks where they're going. Yes, I've noticed that. Bloody drood. I'll never finish it at this rate. Only Providence knows where those words are headed now. Well, I must get to work replacing them. Should you ever be in the mood for a tale or two, you can always find me where the ale is warm and tempers are hot. Ta-ta! What an odd man. That Mr. Fry was Charles Dickens. Knows everyone and everything in the city. If I were you, I would keep that connection in your back pocket. <clears throat> Kaylock's gang is nearby. They must not follow me back to my shop. We'll take care of it. Here. You might be able to use this. Oh, God, I hope so. My carriage is nearby. Make use of it to throw them off my trail. I will meet you at the curio shop. That's the way. We need to lead them away from green. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm bad at driving, so if this Here is one of those trouble. things... Yep, it's gonna be- oh, this is actually- What in the world? You actually control it, what- Those poor horses. How do you destroy them though? That's my only thing. Oh, there we go, nice. Now to return to Mr. Green. Aye, aye, Captain. You're relentless. That relentlessness will see me become master when we finish this. George would do nothing of the sort. Whatever's left of the creed would perish under your control. Harsh words, dear sister. I think it's funny how they have uh, I do hope Mr. Green a boost. Safely. Don't tell me you fancy the bloke already. And what do you suggest we do if our number one source of information turns up dead? Starry can't be that hard to find. I say we turn the carriage round and go find him. This is why you aren't in charge. I'm trying to quick shot those guys. Would that make more attention be drawn? Oh shit! Slow down now. It's got like that NOS button, the boost. I have no idea why it's got like the radio blur going Easy on too. Did you 
you give them the slip? We gave them more than that. <laughs> Who are all these people? Over the years, I have established a number of connections across the city. Splendid. We'll need focused aid. Focused aid? <sighs> we take over Starek's gangs. We cripple his control. You're not aiming high enough. Starek has influence in every branch of society. We need to match him. I see what you're saying, Evie. We need the Rooks. You are not starting a gang called the Rooks. I believe I may have an idea of my own. We will need the police to turn a blind eye to activities. My ally in the force, Sergeant Aberline. I've heard he's a master of disguise. Next up, urchins. 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 Children make for excellent spies. Clara O'Day. Smart as a whip, that one. Finally, you would be wise to remember that Starek never acts alone. There are gang leaders in every borough. You'll meet them soon enough, no doubt. Rexford Gaylock, known for his ability to vanish before your very eyes. Should we make him vanish for real? I suppose. One moment. Um, a Templar target you might want to look into. Uh, be cautious. It's rough out there. No, don't worry about me, Greeny. I can handle a few thugs. Nice. All right. Well, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'm actually going to see before we do anything else how far along we are because getting a little nervous. I can't go past 4 2, I think, is. I guess just progression log. Let's see. Oh, this is kind of neat right here. Progression tracker. Okay, we're on sequence three. Really, there's not many sequences. That doesn't make sense. 8% of the story. I'm thinking that each one has multiple missions. This one obviously has two missions. So, so far we can only go... Yeah, to 4-1 four, four is as far as I can go until, I think, Friday. I'm going to see if I can... I, I guess I'll just have to show them how the videos are doing and see if I'm allowed to go past that. But I love you guys. Thank you so much for all your support. With that being said, take it easy.